morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am Old Man 102. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Richieville. Well, we might as well start out with our daily silage dump. <laughs> right? Got to get a good daily silage uh, sell sales in for the day. Get ourselves warmed up and started. And then I'll drive by the orchards and greenhouses. Get our uh, 277 and 277. Eh, there we go. A little bit over half a mil for the day. Take this puppy with us. I did finish filling the orchards and the greenhouses, so they should all be building. So we have 2.3 mil. Now let's pause right here. So we do not own field 14 right here. It has, what does it have in it? It has oats in it. That's going to change my plan for the day. Well, not really, but let's see how much does this cost? So last thing, well, we it's almost the last thing we we do not own in the center of the mountain. 894,000. There we go. Gives us something else to do. We can do an oat harvest and grab the straw for bedding. I'm going to go with the plan, but and then we'll change things up a little bit tomorrow. All right, so we have 100% in each of these. So all of these should starting should start to build. So this one has the concrete slab down, the water tower starting to pop in. So all of these should probably have like the concrete slab starting to pop in. And these will probably take like three game days to build. And then we can finally get our orchards and greenhouses running. So yep, slabs are popping in, concrete slabs popping in, so these we won't have to mess with for a couple days. We're going to head, we're going to take this guy with us. Uh, one lonely tree stump sitting over there that I missed. We have to do a bit of forestry too because I'm about out of wood chips. And Sparky's is, um, is going to need some logs soon. So, probably do a bit of a forestry episode coming up. But we're going to head yonder way. Now that we have a little bit of cash, well, I spent the cash that we just made this morning, but we have more silage. We are going to head over here. Because we're going to grab ourselves a bit of duck feed. Let's grab about 200,000. 250,000, somewhere in there. And we're going to grab ourselves a bit of chicken feed. We're going to work on some animals today. And we have more silage if we need to sell it. Right, can I sneak through here? I can. Let's head over to our animal area. Hope everyone is doing well today. There's going to be a video going up. Well, it'll go up. Um, well, it'll already have gone up. Sorry, I'm a day ahead. So I'm working on a 64,000 cow challenge. So 
you all have to let me know in comments on how that is uh, if you like that video or not. Ba basically we're doing a 64,000 cow challenge where we have a script built into the map that allows um, 2,000 animals per pen and we have the animal limit increaser mod which we can have 32 animal pens down so we're gonna do if we don't break the game which I don't even know if we're gonna be able to if the game will allow us to do this but we're gonna try so if we don't break the game we're gonna put we'll start with one cow barn and eventually work our way up to 32 cow barns and have 32 cows per barn hence 64,000 cows now we have to make our own we have to be completely self-sufficient so we have to make our own diesel seeds, fertilizer, lime, TMR, straw, um, and we have to do, we have to earn enough cash to keep the operation going because we'll have nothing that we're going to do for income. So we have to do contracts just to earn cash to keep the whole operation running. So it should be a fun little challenge, something to mess around with before uh, 22 comes out. So that video should be going up today, the day I record this. Now I moved our goats over to this one, the bigger pen. So they're all in here now and they're all happy. Let's close the gate so they don't run away. So I got the goats moved over. The only thing I didn't do is mess around with the cashmere and we're going to need to get that out of our way. So let's just grab these real quick and we'll put them over here and then when we pick up our other cashmere we'll pick these up oh man I ate my Wheaties this morning so yeah let me know what you think about that 64,000 cow challenge or if you think it's like complete like BS like what the heck are you doing that for but I thought it would be just something non-serious just come in and mess around I've been live streaming it on uh, Twitch and we'll upload it to here to YouTube All right, get one more out of our way. So I want to put a pen down here. And we're going to get the rest of these animals in. So I'll probably do a bit of an animal episode here and next episode. We'll see how far we get. All right, I want to grab animal pens. We're going to grab the duck plucking facility. And I'm going to try and put it here where we took this goat pen out. If we have enough room to drive through on both sides, we do. I believe we do. Let me spin the map around. Yeah, we'll have plenty of room to drive around. So let's put you there. And then there should be a smaller duck enclosure that that one does feathers this one does eggs now do I want to put it close to this one or do I want to give us a little bit of room I want to do the open range this guy is open range and then the duck one is open range or yeah I'm sorry the chicken one is open range I don't think we use any I don't think we use the front of this cow pasture for anything. I don't think there's any triggers here. Well, let's give it let's give ourselves some room. Let's put the open duck pan here. And we should have an open free range chicken pan. Well, I don't I'm gonna have i I'm gonna find our I don't like these chicken enclosures. I'm going to find us a different chicken enclosure to use. I I have one, I just need to make it placeable. So we're going to hold off on the chickens today, we'll just focus on the ducks. So let's get this puppy opened. So this one does just uh, feathers, so down. The other one does 
just duck eggs. And then I have a different chicken pen we're going to put down. So we'll hold off on the chickens for another day. All right, let's head over to here and we'll grab us some ducks. So I'll probably work on that pen and have it ready for next episode. Ducks all the way down the bottom. Oh, yeah, all the way down the bottom. Nope, not all the way down the bottom. Let's go with white ducks for this one. And we'll grab black ducks for the next one. Well, there's a hundred. I don't know how much this truck holds. Oh, there we go. Full trailer of white ducks. And I'll work on uh, making the placeable free-range chicken pen. I uh, have one, I just don't have it in this mods folder. So I do have one that holds um, like 2,000 chickens. And we're speeding along with these duckies. We're probably making them all sick back there. Uh, we'll have, definitely have to power wash the trailer out. As long as we don't get hit by the train, they'll be fine. We've got plenty of cash left. We'll throw these in uh, what the pluck. This way we'll have white feathers. Just got to figure out where they go. I'm not sure where the animal uh, low trigger is. what's got him all wound up. I think somebody drove through the alley. Yeah, animal dialogue box right there. Stop. Right, let's move these guys out. Yeah, he likes to bark at absolutely nothing. Well, if there's a car that drives up the alley, he thinks he can go chase them down. And it's a fenced yard. Or if someone's riding up the road on their bicycle, He's a pain in the butt. There we go. Let's go grab a load of the ducks for the open pen. So back to the animal dealer. One of these days we'll get a road made over here. Yep, but I took care of getting all the product moved around for the orchards, greenhouses, and I took care of filling the factories again um, between episodes. So we should have a bunch of building materials now, again being made. So for our next set of factories, I'm not sure where we're going to go next, but. 
we're going to start. Now we, sh we should have most of the basics down. So I think now we can start putting the factories down that make the final goods that we can sell. So we'll just have to wait a couple game days for our orchards greenhouses to build and we'll start using that product in other factories. Then we won't have to rely on our silage so much. Can we race the train? Can we race the train? Can we race the train? Can we? Can we? Can we? Nope, he's going to beat us. Oh my god, he's definitely going to beat us because I just had these massive sneezes out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting them this morning. Alright, black, I'll stop tractor, black duckies this time. Let's hope they all fit in that little pen. Yeah, we're not doing the dogs. I may not even put the chicken pen down, we may just do horses next. There we go. Grab a load of black duckies. Are they in there? Yeah, they're in there. That animals, getting the rest of our animals up would be a nice break from everything else we've been working on. Almost tipped a trailer there. That could have been ugly. We'd have had a whole trailer load of ducks sitting on our side. Probably, we have like three fields ready to harvest, so I probably should have set the harvester off before we started this adventure. Or I'll do another busy work between episodes video, we'll see. I like I only like doing those on the weekend, because I don't have time to upload them during the week, because I have to wait 24 hours before I can download it from Twitch to YouTube. I, didn't, I never did cut the grass over here, so I do have to get this cut. We got plenty of silage, so I think there's like still like six million liters in the in the uh, grass dryer. All right, so these guys are going to the open pen. The open pen does eggs. The closed pen does feathers. Where is your there? Nope, it's got to be over here. Right there. Alright. Let's get these guys moved in. Or gals.
So yeah, I'll just throw the chicken feed in storage till we get some chickens. Alright, look at the cute little black duckies sitting there. I'll just park you here for a second. Let's grab... Now, this truck, we may have to dump these into the silo and grab the smaller truck. I don't know if this truck's going to fit in... Oop, I've got super strength on yet. Let's turn that off. Don't know if this truck's going to fit in there where we need to drop the duck feet off. Let's go over here first so I know what trigger I'm on. The front one or the back one because I cannot remember which one's duck feed and which one's chicken feed. So let's get this guy taken care of first. Right there. Okay, so I am on the correct compartment on the truck. Alright, let's grab that. Let's throw this in there. Can we sneak through here right there? Yeah, we can. I'm hoping. And let's figure out where the trigger is for the food. I know the trigger is a little bit tricky in this one. Right there. Right, let's get out of here. It's a crazy camera collision. Alright. So that's going to get us some, both of them some food. Let's get this guy dumped off. Then that leaves me room over here to put a couple of sheds down. Or at least one shed. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Back up, old man. Yeah, we'll get this unloaded real quick. Alright, our water is sitting down by the goats because I, when I moved them, I, ha I lost all the food in the water that we had when I sold the other pen off. Uh, so it is sitting down here. And I'm also just, yeah, they took like two liters of water. Now I think the water, we have to go inside of the fence over here. Think we do. See where we get the water trigger. Right there. That's what I thought. So, get them some water. Close the gate so they don't run away. And now we'll get these guys and gals a bit of water. Look, our sheep are finally starting to do pretty well. And where do you go? I'm assuming right here. Yeah. And then duckies are good. I'll move all these vehicles around between episodes to get these cleaned up. I have one other thing we want to look at today, and we're going to head back over towards uh, here. So let's just teleport to Mammoth Mill. Alright, I want to get us, we're not going to use the built-in warehouse, like Central Station, Central Warehouse. I was going to use them, but they're containers only. We're going to put down the new placeable warehouse that is pallets only. I'm gonna, I'd rather move the pallets around than move the containers around. So we have one for dry goods, we have one for cold goods. That cold good ones will get released um, Thursday. This video is going to go up on Friday. So we're going to throw the dry goods warehouse down. Um, somewhere over here, but I don't want to really block the entrance to my shed. I don't want to 
I, and I don't need to block some other triggers. But I was really hoping to get it over here, but it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Well, I guess we can go up a little bit further. Let's go closer to the bridge, because we'll be taking pallets across the bridge. So I don't mind. Do, do we own this? If we don't own this land over here, we're going to buy it. It's probably going to tell me you don't own this land, but actually I like it right here. Oh, it's going to let us put it down. Perfect. So I want to try and I want to get some of this stuff up off the ground that's just been sitting here. So let's go to long pallets, and we'll get these guys off the ground. They've been sitting here ever since I updated the uh, this factory. So yeah, the uh, placeable one that we just put down, yeah, pallets in, pallets out, and then the one that's built into the map are pallets in, but containers out. They're container only. All right, so we have a little bit of room. So we have room for four more. Let's spawn just four more pallets out. And we'll get them out of here and into the warehouse. The main reason I wanted to get that at, because there are power poles. As soon as there's eight power poles on the ground, that factory shuts down. So I, the main reason for getting the uh, warehouse down was to get those power poles off the ground. There we go. Let's drop these off. Not that far of a drive. If I knew I owned that grass over there, I would have been cutting it all along. I didn't think we owned that piece of property. Now, which side is the drop-off and which side is the pickup? That is the $64,000 question. That is the answer to our $64,000 question. All right, let's get this guy on power poles. And let's pick those up. Yeah, this truck doesn't like driving through the fields. So yeah, we need to keep these power poles picked up or this factory just completely shuts itself down. So I wanted to show you that today. And I'm just going to drop them here real quick and we'll come back. And we'll throw, pick them up and throw them back in the warehouse. But I want to get these off to trigger before they start spawning new ones. And it already picked a new one up with like nothing on it. That pisses me off. I didn't get a chance to pick that one up quick enough, and it already spawned the new pallet out. So we have one pallet on there with like zero liters in it. grab those last four. So it'd be much easier just to drag the power poles over here and then take them all the way across the river to our other warehouse. But then we can only spawn out one container. So you have to wait till you have 100,000 liters before you can spawn one container out. So I decided to use the go with the pallet route instead of going with the container route.
So that cleans up everything that we have left on the ground. And let's just head back over towards our animals. Head back over yonder way. Oh, let's head over here. So we have, let's check on our animals, and then we're probably going to get out of here because we are at half an hour. So we have our brown goats. These are the ones that just moved, so they're doing well. The white duckies that we just put in are we have so 144. We'll buy more ducks. I'll buy a bunch of them off camera. Our sheep are doing well. We don't have to mess with those. Black duckies we just got. And then our cow barn. We have, yeah, we got plenty. So everything is in the green. We're getting a new cow every six hours and four. Oh, so almost every seven hours we're getting a new cow. So that's pretty cool. And then we have they start to make milk they are we only have 3,000 liters but they are definitely starting to make us a bit of milk so we're gonna buy we're definitely I want to get these up to almost the full bar so I'll probably buy as we have the cash I'll probably sell off a load of silage and we'll start buying some more animals but we are half an hour in I am old man 102 please smash that like and subscribe on your way out and have an awesome day